I met Christopher in 2004 at uh, Worlds in San Francisco. Uh, I owned a collectible card shop uh, called Who's On First. And so uh, I took some of the guys from my shop, some of the younger guys and everything, and I convinced my then girlfriend, my now wife, to come with me. I was like, please come. I just want you to see part of my world. And so uh, Chris Brush was there signing autographs along with Richard Garfield was there. Uh, he was the creator of Magic the Gathering and uh, some other artists. Uh, and it, it was just amazing to go and got to meet Chris, got some autographs. And uh, we realized that we just kind of grew up in different places, but we had the same interest. He loved comic books. He wanted to be a comic book artist, you know? So for him, he was like, why is the Black Lotus, you know, so so popular? And I'm like, it just the card is iconic, the art is iconic. but. He did grow to love it, and he, he did, uh, he thought it was great that people all wanted to come. It wasn't his favorite art. His favorite art that he did was Wrathy Dragon, which is an unbelievable piece. All artists offer something different. Christopher, to me, is a perfect example of what I consider 90s art. Not a lot of artists were around doing that art in the 90s. Um, you know, those are the original Magic the Gathering artists. Um, Chris, of course, he did the iconic Black Lotus. There's nothing that's going to ever top it. It's going to always be the iconic card in Magic. Um, Chris was in the office when the list of art came out. Black Lotus, that's a flower. I can draw that fast. Lightning Bolt, I can draw that fast. So they, he took some assignments that turned out to be some of the most iconic pieces in Magic history because he thought, I can get this done without being late. And that was a very big thing to him. Um, cool little story about the creation of the Black Lotus that a lot of people don't know is uh, if you look at the background of the Black Lotus, the green, and you'll see it's like, it's got some texture to it. He created that texture by taking a plastic bag from 7-Eleven and scrunching it up and turning it all around to create that texture on the painting. I have the last painting that Christopher was working on, and it's uh, of the Black Lotus. He was painting it for my wife and I. It was a 16 by 20 that we were gonna hang up, and uh, unfortunately, it's unfinished. And uh, in a way, it's got a beauty that others will never have because to me, it's an unfinished um, painting for an unfinished life. And it's my hope that the person who gets it is going to love it and is going to, it's gonna mean something to them as well. And I can take solace in that. Uh, Heritage is such an amazing auction house that you know I feel privileged to be working with Heritage also. So this is, this is something big for me.